the farmer's walk. Each man must carry two gas cylinders weighing 115 kilograms each over the 70 meter course in the fastest possible time. Five men in each heat, led on here by Wayne Price with Badenhorst, Varilati, Olesh and Samuelson on the far side. This event tests each man's grip to the limit. The cylinders each weigh the same as a 17 and a half stone man. Balance is obviously very important as well and it's Varilati who's really flying down the course. Badenhorst is the nearest to the fin, but look at Varilati go. He must cross the yellow line, he gets the signal from the judge and off we go again. Well, this heat is about one man and one man only. Marco Varilati in his first final is on his way to setting a time which the next five competitors are going to find so hard to beat. About two metres from the finish, oh, he keeps going. Just over 30 seconds, the rest are nowhere. Look at that, they're spread out all over the course. Herrett clearly in second place, and Wayne Price staggering about behind him. Herrett's going to finish, though. His hands must be burning. Samuelson and the rest finding it so hard. Oh, my goodness. Price is just over halfway. Olesh, in fact, the closest to the finish of those three. And that's it. And it just shows how good Varilati was. They've all given up now, so the tapes will have to come out to measure how far they managed. Varilati and Badenhorst, the only two to complete the course. When I turned there and I saw the other guys putting it down, I was, I was surprised because, you know, normally this is a bad event for me. Gary and the rest on course to complete this event. Taylor's grip in his left hand has suffered due to injury in recent years. And I just wonder how Joe will cope with the stamina side of this contest. Gary and Magnus are well away. Rasmussen on the far side. They're the first three at the moment. But Taylor and Magnussen streaking ahead. This looks good for Gary Taylor. A Fleming the first to drop his cylinders. These two the slow turn. And Gary goes down, so Magnus gets away. Magnus hanging on. Taylor in pursuit. Joe Onasai is struggling. They can all just stand and stare as Magnuson heads towards the finish. But he's gone down as well. Just a few more yards for the Icelander. It's a good time, nowhere near Marco, but he beats Badenhorst. Now come on, Gary. Oh dear me, the agony. A cheeky little grin there from Marco who knows he's won this contest. And there's Phil Martin just ahead of Rasmussen. Herod beaten for the second time by Magnus. Gary Taylor, just a few more steps to the finish. He's staggering all over the place. Oh, this is so dramatic. Surely, just two more steps would do it. Come on now, Gary, this is for good points. Fleming Rasmussen on the far side, a last gasp attempt at a couple more points. He goes past Martin, and that looks as though it's the end for all of them. Perhaps the toughest event so far. Unless you've carried two fridge freezers down the road, one in each hand, I don't suppose you can appreciate what it must feel like. Look at Phil Martin being supported there by Wayne Price. He's totally exhausted. A bit of Welsh pride there. I'm not a good farmer's walk, as you've seen in the past. I just needed the points. I gave it 120%. I couldn't have got any more. That extreme effort by Gary Taylor has given him a respectable fourth place. The exhausted American Phil Martin comes fifth, but a first win for slim Finn Marco Varilati. Kyllä mä tiesin, että tämä on mun paras laji. En usko muita kuin Magnus ainut, ketä voi rikkoa ton ajan. That win by Varilati moves him up from fifth into fourth, with Gary Taylor just managing to stay ahead of him. So at the halfway stage, Magnus Bear Magnussen, an extra point ahead of Herod Badenhorst in second place. Four events gone, is that the sort of lead you would have expected at this stage? Not quite. Uh, well, I didn't really expect anything at this stage. Thanks for tuning in to World's Strongest Man on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can catch all the up-to-date information and stay tuned on how strong and pretty I am, obviously. Don't miss it.